Ladies and gentlemen, make sure you are following us on Apple Podcasts and Spotify. Give us a five-star rating. It massively helps us out. Enjoy. Uh, after five appearances, <laughs> the most goals scored in the Prem is Haaland with nine. After ten appearances, Diego Costa, Mickey Quinn and Papi Cissé Quinn, yeah. have 11 goals in ten. So he needs to score one goal to break that. 20 appearances is Kevin Phillips, 19 goals. Probably going to break that. Yep. Uh, debut Premier League season. This could be tough. Andy Cole, 34. He's on, but he's on course was to that, get 62. Was that when so. they, was, but was that when the Premier League was like 40 games, something like 42 games? No, it's 1993, 94. That, yeah. that's, the Premier League started in 92, didn't it? it? Yeah, no, but, yeah, but, yeah, but it was, it was, was it a 38 game season? It's in, this is all, these are all in a 42 game season. 42 game it's season. season. And they got 34 game, 34 goals, so extra four games. Jesus but in a 38 game season. Well, in a 38 they, game season, it's Salah, 32. Yeah. But I wasn't his debut. So he's probably going to break that. Because that he has Chelsea. True. Debut Liverpool, Probably right? going to break yeah, that. Debut. For one club, Harry Kane. No, nah, he won't break Still that. Still going. Not, yeah, but What's Harlow won't be at stay. City. Yeah, yeah. What's Harry Kane at? 200? 188. Oh, for one. Most goals for one club. But Harlow won't stay that long. All think. time is Shearer. He won't stay that long. I think. I agree at Madrid. It, I reckon he breaks th three or four of those. Breaks though. a lot of those records. Oh, yeah. Well, he's breaking one next game. He says 10 appearances. He's in. He'll score more goals in like six games, and then oh, oh, you mean yeah. you think he's going to get like so? Two or three by and... ten games, he'll have like fourteen goals probably. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> oh, he's a scary man. He's, I mean, so uh, Harlan's on ten goals in five. I'm on five, five now. Yeah, because we're we're counting that. Well, you're a Premier League player. Yes, five. I'm, how how we're, are you? We're, the, the, we're working out how many goals I'd score up front for City, and okay, if, and I think I scored the goal against Villa. But you have to, you, understand, you do understand you have to be in the position Irrelevant. first. Irrelevant. No, no, no. But we're not doing that. Oh, we're not doing that. Because when you yeah. apply logic to the argument of being doesn't like, yeah. the, the fact argument, that you've even work. made the pitch at 70 it, minutes that as in well, a Premier yeah, League game, well, right? it doesn't work. Your so fitness yeah. might not be... It's you, hypothetical. If Theo gets beamed in, okay, so the, star the question is, yeah. to that position, the ball comes in Fully and goes... Exactly what exactly what Harlow was. You're just, okay, so okay, I get it now. The scenario is, the scenario is... yeah. If you were plucked all of his goals so far, yeah. exactly where he was before he kicked the ball or struck yep. the ball, yeah. if you would score. Yep. And you reckon he'd have five out of and his, now five, out yeah. of his ten. I'd score his Villa goal, so that's five. Yeah, I was already on four for the you're season. You're on four for so you're on five right And look, people season. hated it at the start, but they're starting to join the How many do you reckon you'll get this season then? I said, 15 we, plus? We, no, we said I'd score ten for City. Up front, not we. Pens. Don't say we. Said. I'm not and involved I'm, in I'm, this. I'm five games in, I've scored five. Oh, okay. That's that's good. <laughs> so you're I'm up there on, with, I think you're like third or fourth up to be fair, yeah. To be fair, the fact that you're level with like Ivan Tony in the Premier League after five games, is that's impressive. Yeah. And Maryland, it's all hypothetical. And fact, at the same time. Um, I'm doing well. So, oh, people are going to get so annoyed at that soon. Um, <laughs> well, no, because in, in five games time, you're going to be on 14. So it doesn't matter anyway. Well, it's true. I mean, look. Who when when Haaland's on 23 after like 11 games and, and we go, <laughs> oh, fear, you could have scored you could have scored seven of these. Yeah. <laughs> You're in double figures already. So it doesn't actually matter. I'm already brilliant. halfway through my target for the season. So <laughs> we'll, we'll, keep, we'll keep counting, lads. Don't you worry. Uh, here's a quick question for you all. Yeah. Is Kevin De Bruyne the best centre mid in Premier League history? Oh, man. Oh, man. I'd start him in my midfield three in Premier League history. Is he three. the best? He will be when he could be, yeah. He will be when it's all said and done. Are you, you asking? Are you asking like current the or there? Uh, I'm, technical ability um, and I'm, I'm, I'm a Gerard and creative man. creativity? I Gerard. Yeah, I would say yes. But he's won more titles as well. Yeah, but, never won a yeah but if you name people that have won more titles, Anderson's won more titles, and in big Premier League moments, Kevin De Bruyne steps up. In bit in huge you know games that is? count, KDB is always. Do you know what it is? You've got. Vieira, you got Keane. That's Gerard. Vieira was Lampard. Gonna be mine my midfield is Lampard. Vieira, Gerard, De Bruyne. No Lampard, most goals in a Premier League midfielder. Uh, well, it's either Lampard or De Bruyne. In, Cesc Fabregas. In that role. It's either Fabregas or Gerard. Jack Wilshere. Look, the question is this: <laughs> Jack Are we potentially could have been? <laughs> are we? <laughs> is, is, are we just like nostalgia merchants? Yes, yeah, yeah. Everyone I, I think everyone is, yeah, because these names they hold more weight when they've been when they're retired. Yeah. Like, yeah. if you look at player to player, like, it's like it's like it's a sin if you say Harry Kane's better than Henri. Obviously, I don't think he is, but I'm saying it's, it's like it's a sin because yeah. if you say a current player is better than a, a known legend. Yeah. It's like you look you look that weird. Yeah. But um, we had a whole debate on my podcast the other day where we're talking about R nine or Suarez, and all my friends was campaigning that Suarez is better than R nine, 
and everyone's looking at him like he's a madman. But I think that's crazy to say. Yeah. It's like I think nostalgia just it just holds a lot of weight because it depends which side of the fence you verge on, right? Either recency bias or nostalgia bias. Like yeah, one yeah, of those exactly. that really enjoyed but players back in the day. And the you age, obviously tend to over- our age is nostalgia, but if you were born, you know, after two thousand, I think maybe yeah, I you would be yeah. recency bias. Yeah, if you watch How Prim- are you, Lewis? I'm 24. I have to think about that. If you watch Premier mm. League yeah, same, years, same if you watch age. Premier League years and can't remember the games, yeah. it doesn't count. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, true. yeah, yeah. If, you watch, if you watch them and go, man, I remember that game, <laughs> then you have a valid opinion. <laughs> but does it help that KDB is surrounded by the, some of the greatest players ever? That as well. I mean, no, this is one of the best. It's probably the best Prem side ever, really. Yeah, it is. It is. It's, it's oh, yeah. yeah. Does that help? Yeah. Is he a stat pad merchant? Devil's advocate for that. No, nah, I think he's just. I don't know, I, I think he's just. Cool. That's gonna get cut out if, if it gets clear. I swear to fucking God, I'm like an idiot. Is Kevin De Bruyne a stat pad merchant? Apparently, no, no. I think he's like. There was a point where they were saying he's just crossing inshallah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, no, the, the crossing into Villa is. Yeah, even that one. Like, you know, like will be in there. Yeah, one of the. Yeah, these will go like. Come on. <laughs> 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 so it could be that. Like he just spams it. Um <laughs> spam square. <laughs> yeah, and he's he's he had Aguero. Like I said Haaland's the greatest goal scorer like history in the Premier League. Aguero is also one like second or third like he's then that come so the Bronze had the um two best. The two of the best ever yeah. greatest goal scorers. So if he just spams crosses in because he's got the ability to put him in there. Through balls. Yeah, but he, yeah, through he, balls. More likely than none, they're gonna score uh, it's gonna go in. Look at Mesa Ozil, for example, we had twenty assists by January. <laughs> So Ozil, I think, would have had 30 assists in a season in, this, in, in, in those City teams. If had either Guerrero or Haaland, easy. He had 20 assists, 21, 20 assists when he had Theo Walker and Drew up front. Yeah. So I think Ozil, ability, I think Ozil better than De Bruyne ability-wise, but De Bruyne managed to achieve. He looked at me weird there. I don't think that's crazy to that say. Is, Ozil's a better 10 than De Bruyne. I don't think that's crazy to say. Yeah. But it's not just ability. <laughs> Everyone, everyone's looking weird. It's not just ability as well. It's about like what you make out of that ability and how much you maximize that potential. Like Ozil had potential to be better than De Bruyne. De Bruyne maximized him more because he was with Pep and was with that great Man City side. If Ozil was in that, then he there's, would have been. There's still more to you, come you, 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 KDB, I think. Oh, massively. Different. You could go to yeah. another. No, no. Level. The, yeah. Kevin Brunner's a different level, but his potential got maximised because it's like you sign. It's like everything works out perfectly. He signed with Pep. He was with Pep at the right time in the right era of Man City in like the right stage so, of his career, yeah. the right age. It's it's so much like things that have to happen for you to maximise your potential. Who's the better midfielder, KDB, Modric, or Iniesta? Oh, jeez. I put Iniesta first. You see, you're just wrong. It's, it's just, it's wrong. But I just say, it's like, I'm leaning towards Iniesta as well. But it's <laughs> wrong though, because we love Iniesta and he's a Barcelona legend and whatnot. But, but all three of them were like, been great era, great teams. But you asked me to pick one. I'm not, I wouldn't pick one. That's because he's retired. Has, has he retired? <laughs> no, he's, he's still playing. playing in he's still playing. He's still, still playing. Still, still chugging along. You, still you were mentioning, uh, the fact that KDB's got this insane, like pair of strikers yeah. as his outlet in Aguero and on Haaland. But like, Last season when they didn't even have a nine, yeah. he's scoring four goals against Wolves. Yeah, you know, he's, he's, he's like, ridiculous. He's ridiculous. Do you know for what I mean? Sure, like for he, sure. 